Hi, Scott Purcell from Blackland Prairie Bees. I had a problem with some of my hive stands. Uh, in this apiary, subject to a lot of runoff when it, with heavy rains and shifting ground and softening ground, uh, some of my hive stand, the cinder blocks, were sinking into the mud. I've leveled this hive with shims, but it's not, not a permanent solution. So I wanted to try a new one. In this case, I'm moving to towards uh, 25 frame layens hives, and I wanted to design a, 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 a hive stand using these brackets. I found them from Amazon, and they're built for T-post. And so I ran uh, 4x4s uh, held by the brackets, put a little uh, supporting structure underneath uh, 2x4s uh, to spread and add some stability between the 4x4s. And then I rested the layens hives across the 4x4s with a little added support for the bases by the 2x4s. Keep the two sides from leaning towards each other, from collapsing inward. Um, and so the hives are supported chiefly. Uh, I build with two by lumber, so it's sturdy, and they're going to be supported on the on the four by fours. Uh, although they they the the bottom will also have some support from the two by four uh, reinforcing structure. Uh, the 2x4 I got as uh, coal lumber from Home Depot, so it didn't cost me much. The 4x4s I got through coal lumber uh, from uh, Home Depot as well, so it didn't cost me much. So we've got uh, probably the four posts, we've got about uh, $20. They're about $5 a piece, so about $20 there. Uh, the brackets, I think, wor worked out to j be just about $4 each, so I've got 16 there. Um, nearly free 4x4s, nearly free 2x4s, and one, uh, we just cut down a, 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 a tree, a small tree that was dead, and uh, we used it when we were short a little stretch of 2x4. Uh, of so, what, I've got about $50 in a uh, hive stand for two 25-frame uh, uh, hives. So, we'll see. I'm hoping that because these posts are driven down so deep uh, that they won't shift uh, as, the, uh, as the water flows through here. Um, and so we'll see how it holds up.